Hey everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to do a check-in. It's been a while since I've done the life update. Uh, today's November 17th, 2000, I can't, 2023. I can't believe I'm looking forward to the holidays and can't believe only another week until Thanksgiving. It's already almost Thanksgiving time and I took a vacation to Utah a few weeks ago and uh, they, I just uh, I was thinking I'd finally beat the heat. Uh, it was, um, we had a quiet monsoon season, a pretty hot summer and um, the heat did carry on into the fall. It just started, it was in the triple digits just until the weekend before Halloween, uh, right before I left for Utah. And then I never left for Utah on the 24th or something like that. But I think, yeah, the 23rd was still a triple digit day that Monday, um, yeah, the week before Halloween. So, um, yeah, it's finally cooled off. It's finally comfortable around here. You can be outside and not sweating bullets it's nice and uh yeah it's lately it's 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 still been in well i think it's only supposed to be in the 70s today like 75 but uh yeah we've still been having it's been coming i know 86 sounds hot to a lot of people but compared to 105 85 86 87 doesn't really seem too bad yeah it was 87 yesterday but like you said it's it's still pretty even in the sun it's still fairly comfortable and then it's definitely, if not for those during the day, it's definitely comfortable in the morning and at night. It's the type of weather where you have to wear uh, pants and a jacket if you're going to be outside around that time for an extended period of time. And I was kind of excited about the, not a great baseball fan, but the, I guess the Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks were no match for the Texas Rangers, lost the World Series 4-1. to one. There wasn't really a whole lot of talk about that, but yeah, I was uh, excited. I know a Diamondback, I kind of feel happy for the Rangers. They never won a World Series. Um, it's been a while the Diamondbacks did win before, even though it was a long time ago, back in 2001. But, yeah, I was really excited about that. It was nice to see somebody different in the World Series for a change. And nice to see somebody different win. And uh, I guess my Diamondbacks weren't uh, really a match. But, uh, yeah, still, you got to give them credit. They were they did a really uh, fantastic turnaround just last year or the year before last. They were one of the worst teams in Major League Baseball. So that's pretty impressive. And, uh Basketball started up, which I'm excited about. My, even though my Bulls are doing terrible so far, they're four and eight. They they, they have the they they gotta make. I don't know what. I have no expert. They gotta make some changes, whether, whether it be coaching or players or something. They need a boost. They they've just been lacking leadership. You never know what team's gonna show up. You never know what star's gonna shine. They just seem to be lacking a leader. They got the talented players, but not everybody's on the same page uh, the same night and. Uh, they definitely need to make changes, whether it be with coaches or players. So something's got to give. And, yeah, James Harden, it's amazing. He uh, left the 76ers on bad terms. And he's with, I guess he, uh, I don't know if it was disorderly conduct or what, but uh, when right before he left the 76ers, he, by the TSA, he was denied uh, to be bored on the plane for whatever reason to go. I think it was uh, right before the season started, their last um preseason game which is a road game he was denied uh, to be bored on the plane for whatever reason and i guess that was just a, a message that was his time with philadelphia 76ers was done and he's with the clippers but now he's talking about playing overseas i guess he's already tired of uh they've lost to they, they were they start off three and one and he went to the clippers and ever since going to the clippers now they lost six in a row and uh, it just seems like he's brought, he hasn't really brought positivity. The team is stacked. Um, they got great players in their team, including him. But it just seems like he's brought more negativity to the team rather than positivity. My Bears are doing terrible at 3-7. and seven. Their season's shot. Um, yeah, and Justin Fields, their quarterback, is hurt. So they got their second-string quarterback playing. And... Um, yeah, it's been another rough year for them so far. The Bulls still have plenty of time to turn around. They played 12 games so far. I still have another 70 games left. And I think they definitely have the potential. They made the playoffs last year to play in tournament. I think they definitely have the potential to make the playoffs again this year. Definitely not a championship team, at least not at this point. And recently, it was a couple months ago, but the uh, Lee Custodian, I'm, um, I've been at my custodian job at an elementary school for five years. And Lee Custodian left. I didn't... He was required for us to work 40 hours, but he was retired from the construction industry for 30 years. And 
it was just extra money. It was just extra money for him to way for him to get out of the house. He was just uh, doing his work and leaving, working maybe like 30, 35 hours, but they were pretty adamant. They wanted him to be working 40 and he just, uh, he had enough of it. He's like, I'm not doing it and just quit. So they gave me the, got a little pay increase and got a lead position. So I'm, you know, got a bigger area to take care of now, but it's less messy. I'm taking care of the older kids instead of the younger kids, which I was, he was taking care of the older children the higher grades which now i'm taking care of it's a, like i said it's a bigger area but less messy so i actually think it's a little easier for me now and um you know there's a little, little lot more money and not a whole lot more responsibility now how a lot more work like i said it's a bigger area i have now but it's not as messy and i just have to which i didn't have to do before now if we have new people i just gotta train new people and um i have to order supplies but other than that it's pretty much the same old thing so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy in my, my new position my new role and um yeah since the, it's cooled down here in arizona now i'll finally save on ac bills and i'm not running the air in my car anymore so i'll save on gas and then lastly i just wanted to touch i'm very surprised that it's only a year away but um not really much talk about the 2024 election and it's really uh strange a lot of people thought including me a lot of, it looks like now it's gonna be trump and joe biden again a lot of people were saying about a year ago that they didn't think it was gonna be joe and trump they thought it was gonna be two new candidates and not only to win the nomination but ron DeSantis. and now he's like way behind trump as far as what the american people want i'm not sure what the actual republican party wants i think if they want to win they need to come up with a better candidate than trump but uh, they were saying that uh, not only the nomination, but Ron DeSantis, I think about a year, year and a half, two years ago, he was figured that he had in the bag. He was figured to be the next U.S. president. And then um, but it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens with that. Because um, uh, you know, as, as far as Joe, there's talk that you know, there's Democrats uh, that are going to challenge Joe Biden. Um, maybe that Governor Newsom from California. And there was also talk about Robert Kennedy challenging Biden or maybe a third party. Who knows? A lot could change. But yeah, again, I just uh, think that, the, again, if the, the, the Democrats want to win, I think they need to come up with a better candidate than Joe. And my dad was thinking, you know, that they were going to give him the nomination. But I guess the delegates can go a different route. They could pick somebody else. They Whoever wins the nomination gets the most delegates. Uh, when it comes to the the, con the convention and when they come up with the um, person for the uh, nomination for the party nominee, but they could you know, go a totally different direction. They could you know, just tell Joe to hit the road. So, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens and the lock, you know, people could still come out of woodwork over the next year. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, all I have to talk about is my thoughts on that. Looking forward to the holidays. I'm not a huge, uh, to we're having ham too. I'm not a huge turkey fan, but I'm a big fan of the other stuff. Yeah, we're having ham, turkey, and mashed potatoes, stuffing, rolls, uh, sweet potato casserole. I'm going to make an apple and a cherry pie and some uh, cranberry sherbet punch. So, yeah, it should be a good dinner. So, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. That's my life update. I'm doing well. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all real soon with another great video. Have a great weekend, everybody. Talk to you all soon. Bye.